wanted to do a European classic, but I wanted, like with the rest of the season, to have a Liverpool heartbeat. And I'd read lots of translations of Tartuffe because I love it as a play. Um, and then some of them are written in rhyme and some of them are written in prose. But reading it, it felt that Roger and Moliere were a match made in heaven, the, the wit, the irreverence, scepticism, but the joy of language, I think, that they both share just felt perfect. Well, when Gemma asked me, I, I thought I, I couldn't do it. And I remember doing studying Tartuffe at university, so I did French, schoolboy French at university. And I found it very difficult, actually. So I thought, this is going to be a challenge. But as Gemma said, there are translations. So what I didn't want to do was look at any of the verse translations, because I had to produce verse myself. I didn't want to be influenced. So I looked at the prose translations, got the characters, read the story, get with that. And then I uh, started uh, and say, let, let me try to go at the first scene and see if I can do it. And I could, and I found uh, you know, all these years spent writing poetry, uh, something, something uh, bore fruit. And uh, I, I sort of enjoyed it going into it quite, very quickly. So it was uh, a great, and not a thing I would have gone to in doing, so very grateful for, for Gemma for uh, thinking of me, obviously. Yes, and I've done things before that I've been indirectly to things that I've, I've written of something that possibly, you know, that I've, uh, as, as, a, as a writer or a director, and I've directed things over the years. But coming in, a bit humble actually, to be honest with you, because you know, I'm a bit spare, I feel like spare parts. Now, <laughs> they essential. Essential. But they don't make me feel that, I mean, Gemma's, you know, they first me. But this is Gemma's job, Gemma, here with the actors uh, who've learnt the lines. And um, I just watch the concentration that goes on. This, this is what amazes me. The, uh, I said to you this morning, you know, the, you know I, I watch it and I go, this is good, this is good, and get caught up in it. You know, part of it, the, the director stops, just enjoy it, or you, you get bored or something. And Gemma is watching everything, this concentration. So that's great. And of course, hearing actors say some of the things they've written and how they make it work in different sort of ways. Yeah, it's, it's great. Absolutely. Lovely. Not too many. Uh, let's be honest. No. Uh, very few, really. Um, and we thought there might be a lot more. Um, but you know, that's what I'm here for. And I, I love it when they say, "Can we change a line here? Can we think it might be better if we inverted this?" Uh, or what, where's the rhyme? And um, and just this morning, we had a wonderful moment where, uh, at the beginning of a scene, there seemed to be room for a little bit extra of Tartuffe faking his religiousness and it was fantastic having Roger here because he sort of came up with this mad kind of little bit Latin churchiness, a little bit French and, and it was just wonderful having him here that instantly he can, he can respond to that moment of improvisation almost in the rehearsal room but actually I mean Roger sent a few drafts through and when I went into rehearsal I've never had a read through where actually I've gone actually, I'm the only person that can ruin this. <laughs> um, because I've got a great text, I, I've cast very well, and um, really now it's down to me to, 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 to take all these ingredients and make a wonderful cake and, and help it rise, you know, and, and please God, I set it on the right temperature. <laughs> Well, it's really interesting because when we first met, we talked about did we want to set it in period or did we want to update it? And I felt Tartuffe works very well in its period um, because of the sexual politics. I don't think women would just marry who their father tells them to now. And it, it, there would be things, often when you conceptualise a piece, you find you're putting a bigger foot in a smaller shoe occasionally than it really deserves. Having said that, Roger's verse and the playfulness that I wanted for the production is irreverent at times and plays around with the period. And we've taken that really, I think, as the kind of note for the, the whole production, that it is in 17th century France. And I've done ridiculous amounts of research about Louis XIV, Molière, the religious politics of the time. That's all necessary because you need to create a real society to then know what rules you're breaking. And for the actors, you know, they're doing movement at the moment, which is about the period. So that we know that when they don't do it, 
we're self-consciously saying, well, no one would ever bow like that, and that's funny. But I think you have to know the rules, you have to know the context to know how naughty yeah. you're being with it. It's also amazing watching you uh, just give the, the, how the actors think, because I've just written the words, and I've taken the text or the story, written the words to it, and of course they, they start doing that. But then of course Gemma's saying, well, you know, what, what do you mean, what's the backstory, do it again, what do you mean by that line? I mean, the detail of what they're actually thinking and the way a, a scene can change with how, how they come to it, what they were doing before, what, what this then leads to, it's quite complex. You know, it is very complex, because yeah. what, what you're always doing, it's, it's hugely funny, but you want it to have integrity. And you, I, that's my love of comedy, is that it's easy to make a gag, and, and they all make fun of me because I've got very cheap taste. But a gag only works, I think, in, in a context. I mean, when you watch Forty Towers, for example, which I love, it's so funny because I really believe the tragedy of that man. If it was simply gag after gag and a man didn't really care about his hotel business or whatever it was, it ceases to be funny. So you have to care about those people um, and they have to not stand outside their characters. They have to care desperately about every... The stakes have to be right and high in any scene.